Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the search button to your Wix website. The search button makes it easy for your visitors to quickly find what they are looking for on your website. So in this video, I'll show you how to add it in your website in just a few simple steps and quickly and easy. So let's just dive in. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, Go ahead and use it once you do that of course you can simply go to your url section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button that should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of wix website and of course here if you have an account you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page of course here you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website of course if you forgot your email you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it of course make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles as you can see you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with wix company of course this site is protected by recaptcha enterprise google privacy and terms of use apply so make sure to read them and of course you can even log in into your account with google facebook or even apple or with your sso if you don't have an account make sure to click on the sign up option and of course from here you can create your account by entering your email, then retype in your email, creating a password and type in your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's gonna be my email. I'm just going to retype it or like this. The password, let's say it's going to be something like this. And let's just re-enter it. And here we are. As I said, you can or you don't have to fill all of those. If you want, you can simply click add continue with Google. If you have your Google account already connected and choose the email or the Gmail that you want to connect with. For me, I choose the same email that I choose here. So now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating websites for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say as an example for me or my business or friend. So click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say, for example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time, this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say, for example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot. And even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say an example is going to be blog, I don't know, maybe music, video, and click on next. Why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store as an example. I'll have to add a first 
my first products and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then design my website then connect to a custom domain then get found by customers on google so first thing this would like to do of course if you want to add the search button to our wix website simply go to this left panel scroll down to the bottom and click on this app section that will take us to the app market of the wix website what i wait once you click on it this will appear to you simply go to the search apps option and click on it then simply type so here let's just type sites search and hit the enter button that should take us into this page from here make sure to select this site search option and click on it that's the app that we are going to use so this app is available worldwide so don't worry about being in any country and of course this app has a wide options of language provided or supported by the app including catalan czech danish dutch english finnish french and a lot of other languages and you can translate all app contents displayed on your site into any language of course this app comes with a lot of features including the light users with auto complete suggestions from the first character and gets professional wix store search results and filters find e-commerce products blogs posts or any other content in an instance and search bars and display results with image beautifully and of course you can read all of this if you want of course you can always scroll down to see the average rating of people it's pretty decent depending on more than 500 reviews of course you can see here what people are struggling with or what people are finding good at the set if you have any concerns you can always go back to this review and check if someone has your same problem if he already solved it and you can even type your problem and wait for the developers to answer you or other people of course once you think that you would like to add this app remember that this app will give you seven day free trial so enjoy that if you want to add this as we said simply click on this add to site and then as you can see this will read orders read products and read basic sites and business info so if you agree to that make sure to click on agree and add of course you can even know more about this if you hover this i button or information button if you agreed click on agree and add and this site will be successfully added to your website now you'll be able to customize this depending on your site design and of course you'll be able to customize the themes the fonts the colors to match your website design once you're done you can always go to another website as an example and pretend to be a customer and go check if the search button is working well if it's not you can always come back to this apps option and go here to sites search and you can fix everything from here so that is going to be for this tutorial on how to add a search button to your wix website so remember that adding a search button to your wix website is a simple and effective way to enhance the user experience of your visitors by following the steps outlined in this tutorial of course you can quickly add a search button to your wix website and help visitors find informations they need more easily thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one